Hello, the time has come to speak about Heraldry Studio. What is there to be expected in the future? Heraldry Studio was released in Steam Early Access in September 2019. I planned the work to go on for about a year. There has been about 10 updates, including the new Shield Division system, ability to upload your own charge and several additions to the studio's own charge collection. The average update period was about 6 weeks. Well, wanted or not, Heraldry Studio can't be being developed infinitely. Sometime in this year it will leave early access. After that the updates will still come out, but nowhere near the previous frequency. So what is there still to do before the end of the early access? The community has given some ideas, and then there are some ideas of my own. First, I want to add more charge position options. That includes an ability to turn charges at angles and even cross them. Second, partition lines. For some reason community is not actively asking for them, but everybody knows that they are essential to heraldry. Third, random coats of arms. This is an important topic for role players and world builders. Fourth, tutorials. Of the users who return money on Steam, some simply don't understand how to use Heraldry Studio. There is a need for a better tutorial with texts and pictures. Now about the updates that I don't think are urgent, but might be implemented. First, Rule of Tincture. Early versions automatically switched the color of the field if the charge had the wrong color. That was confusing for the users. Maybe it can be done other way. Second, Artistic Edges. Early on I imagined drawing to have a nice spatial edges around parts of the arms and charges, just like in the old heraldic drawings. But that is not that easy to do procedurally and has never been a priority. Third, change of shield shape. The shield in heraldry studio is a geometrical shape, so I could create some kind of interface to change its points. But that means a lot of work for something that will be appreciated only by a handful of users. Fourth. Improve counter-changing. This is not urgent because counter-changing of charges was just added in Heraldry Studio. But there are ways to improve it. Now I have to mention requests that will never be implemented in Heraldry Studio. First, shield supporters, crests and other elements of the full coat of arms. It's a lot of hassle and needs a lot of hand-drawn resources. Heraldry Studio has never had plans for these. Only the shield that is the distinct part of the coat of arms. Second, blazon. I believe some put too much worth in the blazon. Coat of arms is a visual art after all. Also, heraldic studio is created for international users who might not really care about the English heraldic blazon. Thank you for your time. I hope this video created more clarity on the future of heraldry studio.